welcome to Sarah's Stamping Retreat. Today we're going to be making 10 cards and we're going to be using different elements from this Finding Paradise set from Dovecraft. I think a lot of us have some of these sets where we've bought papers that combine with like toppers and ephemera and stuff like that and so I thought I'd do a video about kind of combining all those things into cards to give you some ideas of what you could do with your collections. So I really love this collection. I've just received this. So I just started on the maker team for DRK Crafts. And so I got a £30 voucher to spend on their website. It is so reasonable. All of this costs less than £11. But I'm just gonna show you all the things that are here. So these are some foam stickers. Some frames, I really love those. We're going to use a couple of those today. This really cute little stamp set. I think this was like 62 pence. It was so reasonable. I'm not going to use that today, but I will use that on a different video. We've got some transfers. We've got these cute ephemera. So you get 16 pieces in here. So you get four of each. Some of mine are out, um, like ready to make cards with. So you get four each of each of these designs. Then again, you get four each of these as well in the carrot topper sets. You can see they're really just bright, fun things to use. That's what really attracted me to this, just how bright and fun the images are. And I purposefully got both the 6x6 and the 12x12 paper pack that coordinate because I think it's really nice to use different scales of prints together. So I'm just going to show you how to do that today as well. So the prints are the same in both, obviously the smaller ones scaled down. So to give you a comparison, this is the scale of the print in this pack and this is the scale of the print in this pack. So I'm just going to quickly flip through the prints in the bigger pack so that you can see them. These gorgeous flamingos, we've got really nice geometric patterns, we've got these leaves on the pink and the colours are so lovely and bright. We've got leaf prints, we've got lemons, we've got this like tiger print, we've got like dipsy florals, words, we've got these large florals, I think that's actually my favourite piece, so pretty. We've got these lovely patterns and then we've got the parrots. So you get 36 sheets in this pack, so you get three sheets each of the 12 designs in this pack. And then in the smaller pack you get 48 sheets, so you get four sheets each of the 12 designs. So all of the cards that we're going to make today are easy to create, but some are work more worked into than others. So particularly towards the end we'll do some that um, like a shaker card and things like that. that are still easy to create but take a little more work. So I've got these two pieces, these are both from the small paper pack and I've cut them to be a quarter of an inch smaller than the card front and essentially I just laid this where I wanted it and then cut the paper to the size so that it would be across these two points. I'm going to glue those onto the card and then I'm going to glue this piece, I've just got a slim strip of the pink card stock and go across here. This is the Melon Mambo from Stampin' Up. And the card blank by the way is a UK A6 card blank so it's 4 and an eighth by 5 and 7 eighths inches. So then I'm just going to add on this topper. So like I said these first few are going to be super simple. Then we're going to work our way towards an aperture card, a shake card, which is still going to be easy to create but not quite as simple. And then I really like this birthday wishes set from Alex Siberia Designs. So I'm going to use that for my sentiments today. So I think I'm going to use that happy and then this birthday. And you can see with this set there's so many happies and birthdays, you can do let's celebrate and stuff that you can really mix and match all the fonts and things. So I'm going to heat emboss that in with white embossing powder. So I'm going to use this Wow Bright White Super Fine Embossing Powder today. And I'm going to stamp the parts of the sentiment one at a time so that I can get them in the position that I want them. So 
then I've cut that down and I'm just going to pop that up on some foam pads. So there's our first card finished. So for this next card, I've got this dark green card star. And this one, this piece measures three by three and a quarter inches. And I'm going to use that same stamp set. And I'm just gonna use um, this happy birthday. And I'm gonna pop that along the bottom of here. And again, I'm going to heat it and boss it in white. So I decided that this was actually slightly bigger than I needed it, so I've cut it down to two and three quarters by three and three quarters. So I'm going to glue this onto that piece. That's one of the toppers from the topper pack. And then I've got this top folding. I think this cardstock's called pine needles again it's from paperbox limited and i've made an a6 card blank and then i've just cut a two inch piece off the end here and then i've cut two of the pieces these ones are both from the larger paper pack and i've cut them so that this one is a quarter of an inch smaller than here and that this one is a quarter of an inch smaller this way so that it just fits a bit under here and then if you wanted, you could also put a piece of white cardstock here to add your sentiment. So I'm going to glue those on. I really love using all these like bright colours. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this onto here. So I want it central on the card. So I'm going to add foam pads behind this bit and just stick it to this side of the card. So I'm going to just leave my place there. I'm going to put this foam pad on the edge there so that I know that I don't want any foam pads past that place. So then I really like this style of card because just add, taking the end off really adds a bit of dimension to it. So that's that one done. So for this one, I'm using the smaller and the larger flamingo print. So I'm going to use the smaller one in the background. And then you can see I've fussy cut the flamingo from the larger print. And it's really nice because you've obviously got the exact same flamingo. It goes absolutely perfectly. But just having those two different sizes of print really works nicely. So I've got a five inch square card blank and that is flirty flamingo cardstock. And then I've cut this piece of paper that I'm sticking on to four and three quarter inches square. And then I've cut two circles, one from yellow cardstock, that's the pale yellow mat from Paperbox Limited. And this one obviously matches the card base. And I just cut them so that the main part of the flamingo fits on them. So I'm gonna glue those together. And then you'll see I've cut this whole flamingo out of here and then I've also cut another one but I've just cut out these flowers and the top part of the flamingo. So I'm going to pop that up on there so that we've then got a bit more of a dimensional image. So then you've got that like that. And then I'm going to glue that onto my circles. And then I can glue the circles onto the card. So then I'm going to use some spare pink card stuff. And I stamp this happy birthday on. And this time I don't want a chunky sentiment so I'm going to actually cut around the sentiment. Then I'm going to add some piece of foam pad behind there. So then how cute does that look? So for this one, I've used the two sides of prints in a different way and I've cut a strip at the top that's about an inch and a half in the, from the smaller lemon print and a strip from the bottom 
it's the larger lemon print and I've just left a gap in the middle and that's where I'm going to put my sentiment so I'm going to pop in it's your there and then I'm going to put day underneath so that's going to go onto this lemon paper and I'm going to heat emboss this bit with white and this bit with black then I can add on my papers. I like to do the heat embossing first just in case anything goes wrong with it then I've not ruined the papers as well. And then what I would usually do with a card like this when I'm ready to send it is I would put a white mat inside for somewhere to write and then maybe I'd stamp celebrate or happy birthday onto there so that it kind of carries on this it's your day thing inside and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this piece of ephemera and I'm just going to add the frame pad to the back so then we've got this cute card so for the next one I am going to use another 5x5 five five inch card blank with melon mambo card stock from Stampin Up then I've got this piece and this one's from the larger paper pack. And then I've cut this piece from the large flamingo paper. And I thought it'd be really cute to frame it. I've specifically cut it so that it frames the flamingo. And to do that, I laid the, the frame on the pattern paper, decided which piece I wanted to frame, then drew around here, cut it out, and then I know that it fits my frame and that the frame's going to go exactly where I want it. You see how that just fits really nicely in the frame. So then I'm just going to add a bit of glue to the back of the frame. You can see these are made of a nice thick cardboard, so they're nice and sturdy. And they also add that bit of dimension as well. And then I don't really want this bit here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this over there. I'll do that in a minute. So let's add this to the card. And I think actually I might add this smile rub on to the frame. You actually get two of these rub on pieces in the pack. So actually I've only just decided to add this rub on on. If I'd have thought about it before I would have added it on before I'd added this to the card just in case anything goes wrong. Let's just take off the backing. And then I can add this one where I want it. And you just want to rub that over really well with the lollipop stick that's included, just to make sure it's all really nicely transferred over. And if you peel it up slowly, you can kind of see if there's any spots that you've missed. And just go over them again. So I really like that, but I want it to stand out a bit more. So I'm actually just going to just draw around it with the black. So then I'm just going to add on that leaf in the corner and then we've got a cute card. So then for my next card I've just taken some strips of the different papers and they're all an inch thick and you can see again by using different sizes of the same papers they kind of go together but still look different. I wanted them all to have a cream base so that they looked like they belong together but I did also want them to be different so I'm going to pop up this parrot topper and I'm going to use this wild at heart foam sticker and I want it to go there, so I want this side to be popped up more. So I'm going to pop a foam pad just behind that end. So there's that card finished. So then I've got another A6 card blank, same melon mambo colour that we've been using a lot. And then I'm just going to add this piece of paper. So this one is from the large pack. And honestly, these 10 cards have barely touched the sides of all those supplies that I showed you at the moment. I'll get so much more out of this. So then 
I've got a piece of this large floral paper. So that is one and three quarters by four inches. And I'm just going to back that with some more of this cardstock. And then I've got a piece of this parrot paper and again some more pink cardstock. But I want to cut a bit of a tail into this one. So I'm just going to cut up the middle. I always think this is the easiest way because then if you cut from the corner into that middle, you're much more likely to get a tail that looks quite even. So then I'm going to glue that onto the pink cardstock. And then I'm going to cut the pink into a similar tail. So then I'm going to use this Celebrate stamp from that same stamp set that we've been using. And I'm going to white heat emboss it again. Then I'm going to glue these bits down. Then I'm popping that up on some foam pads. And then I'm just going to put a thin strip of foam behind the celebrate. And then I'm going to add to the tropical vibes by popping this up here. Then there's that card. So then for this next card, I've got an A6 Pine Needles card blank. And then I've got these two pieces. They're both a quarter of an inch narrower than the card blank. And then this pink piece is five and a half inches tall. And this is two inches tall. And I'm just going to pop them together with a bit of like removable tape because I want to cut them at the exact same angle. So I'm going to cut from the corner of here up at an angle. Then I can remove this tape and I'll use this piece on something else and then I'll use these two pieces for this card. So I'm going to glue those onto my card base. Another thing you could do if you wanted to make two of these is to cut both pieces to five and a half inches and then you could cut them both at one time and you could use the pieces that were left over for another card so for example that would be the top of the other card and then there'd be some floral bottom of the other card so then i've got a piece of the pine needles card stuff i'm going to heat emboss in white again and i'm going to use the celebrate stamp again Then I've got these flowers that I have fussy cut from the large paper pair. And so I'm going to pop those and the sentiment up on foam pads. So then there's that card. So then for this next card, I'm going to create a little shaker. So I've got, um, this is Calypso Coral card stock that I've used to make a five by five inch card blank. And that Calypso Coral is from Stampin' Up. And then I've got some of the smaller leaf print paper here. So I'm going to add that on. So to create my sentiment, I'm just going to heat emboss the same Celebrate stamp that we used for the last card in black onto some cream cardstock and I'm going to cut around that. Then let's go ahead and make our shaker element. So I'm going to add some double sided tape to the back of this. So then I've got a piece of acetate that I've cut down to just slightly smaller than the frame. I'm just going to stick that on the back. And then I'm going to put some foam tape around there. And I'm going to need to make sure that these foam strips butt right up against each other so that the shaker stuff that I put in doesn't fall out. So then I'm just going to pop these little bits along here. This bit needs to be sealed, this bit doesn't because that's not where I'm going to put the shaker bit. 
So I'm just popping those along there so it pops the whole frame up evenly. So then I've got this melon like shaker mix from Little Things by Lucy's Cards. And I'm going to pop some of those right in the middle of my card. I'm going to make sure as much as possible that they're up the right way because there's not going to be much room behind my um, shaker so they're not going to all flip over. And then I'm also going to add a few bits of this gold glitter. So I'm going to use my embossing buddy just to wipe the back of the acetate to try and help it, all the glitter not stick to it. I've actually realised I was going to pop it onto here instead. So let's try and slide all that onto here. So this is actually a piece of the larger leaf print paper because I thought it would be nice to use the two sizes of prints um, that I've cut to the same size as the frame. So now we've got this cute shaker element, so I can glue that to my card. So then I've popped some of the foam tape behind the celebrate and pop that down the bottom here. And then I'm going to pop these up on foam pads. So then there's that shaker done. And then for my final card, I'm going to create an aperture card. So I'm going to lightly tape this front piece into place where I want it on the card. So it's a five inch square card blank and the mat is from a small paper pack and that's four and three quarter inches square. So then I've got two circle dies and I'm going to take the smallest one and pop it on the centre of my card. And I'm going to cut through both the front layer and the card base with that. So then now that I've got this, I'm going to take the larger one and I'm going to place it right around that circle that I've already cut. So that it's nice spacing and then I can cut this. And so then now we can glue this on here and we're going to get that nice frame around the inside as well. So let's glue that on there. So then I'm going to heat emboss the happy birthday sentiment into the aperture and then I can add these flowers that I've cut from the paper around the outside So then we've got this pretty aperture card. So let's see all 10 cards we've made today. So that was the last one. So that's all 10 of today's cards. I really hope that you've enjoyed creating them with me and that it's given you some ideas for things to do with your pattern paper packs. I'd love it if you'd let me know in the comments below which one's your favourite. If you enjoyed this video I'd really appreciate you clicking like below and you can also press subscribe if you'd like to see future videos. If you press the bell button and select all then YouTube will also notify you when I've got a new video available. You can find links to all the products that I've used for today's cards in the description below and you can also find a link there to my blog. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope to see you again soon.